Hello, my name's Tony Hilliard. Today I'm going to show you how I fitted a supercharger to my MGTA. Let's see how we get on. This is my 1939 MGTA with a Q-type body, restored in 2009 by a Mark specialist. Very pleased with that. This is the kit of parts with the supercharger from Steve Baker in the UK. She's an Eaton M45 supercharger with all the bits that you require. I understand there will be some additional parts for later models. And this is where we're going to fit her, in the MGTA engine bay. First thing we need to do is remove the stay rods from the radiator. Then we're going to need to remove the radiator, disconnect the hoses. The bottom hose is usually a pain. I usually use plenty of WD-40 to slide the hose up the metal pipe that goes to the water pump. The top hose, not so bad to get off, but it's quite large and getting it back on and getting the radiator straight, sometimes a bit of a problem. There we are, radiator off. Next we need to remove the carburetors, undo the four nuts, remove the nuts, the locking washers and the four manifold clamps. I've always found storage carburetors a real problem. The things get broken, lost, etc. And what I've started to do is make up a wooden stand for them. Just a piece of 10 mil ply, a little bit of glue, with a couple of holes you can mount it neatly, bolt it all together, and you have a, a portable, neat, tidy, reasonably secure storage for your carburetors. Next we want to remove the exhaust manifold. Obviously undo the exhaust pipe. Off she comes, obviously going to remove the old manifold gasket. Now once you've undone the front engine mounting bolts, you're going to jack up the front of the engine and remove the front pulley. The original cast iron one was just designed to drive the dynamo. We need to replace it with a duralumin one supplied in the kit, which is a double pulley, which will allow us to drive the, uh, the dynamo with one belt and fit a new belt to drive the supercharger. Usually a bit fiddly to get it in because there's not a lot of room. Nice tight fit. There she goes. The final bit of resistance is the front oil seal on the crankshaft. And please note this is a rubber hammer. Don't want to scratch our nice new Drellamin bottom pulley. Next we put the starter dog nut back on, lining the socket up to get it in there, again with the front chassis mounting in the way, is, is a bit fiddly but not so bad. I usually put a little bit of red paint on the, the bottom pulley so when it comes to the timing mark it's easier to find later on. Next we install the spacer that needs to go behind the fan. The fan blade would touch the, um, the new belt on the supercharger drive, hence the uh, spacer. Now we've got the new manifold gasket fitted, slid the uh, cleaned up exhaust manifold back on. One problem, on the bottom corners of the supercharger, it says in the instructions, slide this on the studs up to the block. That is not easy. There we are, that's it fitted. But I actually had to take a tiny little bit off the bottom of those two corners to make it slide on. When I tried to fit the nuts for the two centre studs, they were too long. You just could not get the nuts in. So I reduced the uh, overall length from 89 millimetres to 84 millimetres, plus I made up two new slimmer uh, manifold clamps which made it possible and in fact very easy to slide the clamps on first then get the two centre nuts and locking washers on otherwise it's it on my car it was nigh on impossible this is looking underneath into a mirror and you can see how it was fitted 
nice neat slim job also you can start to see with the front nose mounting fitted it's going to line up nicely those two bolts sticking out the back of the supercharger are supplied with the carburetor to fit the carburetor on the bottom one is impossible to fit unless you cut the bolts I installed two pieces of 10 mil stainless steel studding with some Loctite makes a nice neat job if you've got space between the supercharger and your bulkhead to fit the carburetor that way this is the front nose mounting and and the belt fitted and there you can see how slim and how neat it looks let's drive that's our diesel camera car by the way of interest to you it certainly was to me the difference to my MG after fitting one of Steve Baker's superchargers is unbelievable until next time cheerio